All right, Sean Guam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash, and Dabar, and see the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with truth, sincerity with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live uh, salute you. So, I just want to go into a, a, a lesson. Um about a dream I just had and about a particular word that the um spirit just sent me to within that dream that are with that is within the scriptures. Um and the definition of that word. Alright. Now in this dream that I just had, um I was um um <clears throat> I believe um I was fleeing. I kept fleeing um, police, you no know, FBI, CIA, different kind of um, alphabet um, gang members, you know, of Esau's army, right? Um, and um, the Lord gave me spiritual powers. And um, I basically kept killing these agents, man. You know, um, I was killing these agents. In the beginning, my superpower wasn't, my, my uh, spiritual power wasn't that strong, but I was able to uh, fly away from, um, every time these officers came to get me, I would kill some of them. And then um, before it got too overwhelming, I was able to fly away. And um, I kept flying away. Um, and I even thought about like fleeing out of the country a few times because um, basically these, um, you know, my name was all over the news. Um, people were like, oh, this man's dangerous. Anybody see this guy, you know, call the authorities, you know, um, you know, he killed this many officers, you know, and every time they would find me, you know, um, the Lord would give me spiritual powers and I would be able to, um, I would be able to kill these officers and, uh, fly away. And, um, it was just really getting, I remember in the vision, it was really getting hot. You know, I was really getting worried and, you know, you know, still trusting the Lord, obviously. Um, but I, it was really getting hot, you know, I was really getting worried, you know, um, and then, uh, basically, I, uh, in the dream, it was a scene where I saw the brothers and the brothers was posting up camp, you know, they get ready to uh, post up camp, but it was at night and it was outside in a certain area and I could tell like you know, it wasn't just hot for me, but it was hot for them. But they were really looking for me. And the main brother I remember seeing um, was the brother St. Benji uh, um, in the Chicago camp. You know, one of my um, close brothers in the Chicago camp, you know. And he was setting up camp, and I remember he reminded me, like, okay, look. He's like, look, I want you to speak. No, well, basically, I was like, you know, enthusiastic to speak. He could see that I could, I was enthusiastic to speak. I wanted to speak, but he's like, you know, you know, we're going live. You know, your face is all on the news, so you know, cover your face. So I had like, you know, um, one of those scars that they wore during this, the scamdemic around my face, so um, you know, they wouldn't see who I was. And um, we're getting ready to. I'm getting ready to open up. Um, getting ready to open up. And um, I don't know if it was me or another brother that mentioned um Isaiah eight and one. But uh, I was waiting for Isaiah because I, I did a little preaching. I did a little bit of talking, and then Isaiah eight and one um came up. All right, so I'm like, um, 
you know, somebody grab Isaiah 8 and 1. And then um, everybody sat down, like on a bench, and were looking at me. And I'm like, what's up? Somebody grabbed Isaiah 8 and 1. And then uh, <clears throat> I woke up. And as soon as I woke up, I said, okay, the Lord wants me to re uh, read Isaiah 8 and 1. So this is where we're going to go with it now. Um, <clears throat> all right, so mm, let me grab that right now. Uh, right. So this is Isaiah 8 and 1. And I read a little bit further down just to get the understanding. It says, Moreover, Yahweh said unto me, Take thee a great roll and write in it with a man's pen concerning Maher Shal Shal Haz Baz. And I took unto me faithful witnesses to record, to record Uriah the priest and Zechariah the son of, of Jeberachiah. And I went unto the prophets, and he conceived and bare a son, and she conceived and bare a son, it's like, and I went unto the prophetess, and she conceived and bare a son. Then said Yahweh to me, call his name, Mahar Shal Hazbaz, for before the child shall have knowledge to cry, my father and my mo mother, the riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria shall be taken away before the king of Assyria. All right, so that's what I read. Okay. Okay. Now I want to go into that uh, name. All right. All right. which um, we understand to be um, swift. Okay. Um, it's kind of ironic because in that dream, um, these uh, Edomites, they were swift to come after us. They were swift to come after me. But the Lord made me swift to escape. All right. He gave me spiritual powers to make me swift to escape. Now it says Mahar Shalal um, uh, Chash Baaz. Okay, hopefully I'm saying it right. Any brother that's more proficient in the Hebrew, you can correct me. But it says Mahar Shalal Chash Baaz, or I would think it would be Baaz. I could be wrong. Um, yeah. So, um, harsh law. Right. And it says, um, all right. Um, hasting is the enemy to the booty. Right. Hasting is the enemy to the booty. All right. Booty swift. Swift to uh, uh, booty, right? Swift to pray, right? Swift to the pray. Mahar Shaal Shalal Kaz was the symbolic name of the son of Isaiah, right? So swift to the pray, and that's what uh, Esau. All right, let me see. Symbolic name of Isaiah. Um, Right, we're soon to be plundered by the king of Assyria. Okay. Right. So a swift to the prey. I believe it's a scripture that says that. Um, um, let me see.
um, right. So yeah. Um, so I believe that's what was being said in the spirit in that vision, is that this devil is hastening to the prey. He's moving swift now. Okay. Um, this is Habakkuk 1 and 5. Behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told you. For Lord, I will raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, right? In the modern day, Chaldeans would be the um, elites, okay? All right, the elites, which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Right, you can see that through their court system. They just make up any damn law. All right, their horses shall be swifter than the than the leopards, and are more fierce than evening wolves. Right, their horses are swifter than the leopards, man. And that's their military might. And their horsemen shall spread themselves, and their horsemen shall come from far. They shall fly as the eagle that hasteth to eat. They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall sup up as the east wind, and they shall gather the captivity as the sand. All right, and, that, and that's something they did in the past, and that's something that they're about to do again. You know, as it says, I believe in the book of Jeremiah, correct me if I'm wrong, it says, uh, Whither shall we go? We shall tell them such as for the deaf to the deaf, such as for the sword to the sword, such as for the famine to the famine, such to the captivity to the captivity. All right, so the, so this, the Lord's going to send this devil to to round Jacob up again, man, and slaughter him. And they shall, uh, as Scripture says, I shall send him against a hypocritical nation. Uh, to take the spoil and to tread them down as the mire of the streets, the hypocritical nation being two thirds of our people. All right. And they shall scoff at the kings, and the princes shall be a scorn unto them, and they shall deride every stronghold, for they shall heap dust and take it. So he, they're going to heap up the people like dust. And round them up and take them and take them up, man. Okay. Um, then shall his mind change, and he shall pass over and offend, imputing his power unto his God. All right, so that's about it on that. You know. So yeah, this devil is uh, hastening in his moves now. You know, um, he's moving fast, man. Um, you know, it's one of the favorite scriptures on this. Uh, he has but a short. Yeah, he knows that time is running out, man. Revelation 12, 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time okay so yeah man and I, that's why I believe that uh, vision was telling me you know um because this devil was moving fast and uh even in the way Jake was setting up camp you know, it was like the majority of the brothers were all together. You know, it wasn't breaking. No, it wasn't no breaking camp. It was in a secluded place and it was at night. You know, the brothers were going to go live, but they didn't want it to be. I could tell that they didn't want it to be known where they were recording from. You know, and I definitely didn't want my face shown because I had killed a bunch of officers with spiritual power, man, like laser beams and. I mean, I was shooting, like, I remember shooting, um, like, lightning out of my hands, man. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, <laughs> I believe, like, lightning came out of my eyes even at one point, man. I was fucking, fucking their ass up, man. And I kept flying away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they couldn't get me on the ground level because, you know, it was it, I was just kept going into the sky, man. <laughs> You know, <laughs> they were getting pretty frustrated, man. So when I, um, in the vision, when I, you know, set up with the camp with the brothers, I had to have a mask on my face, man. And it's going to be like that. You know, they got this thing called uh, facial recognition. You know, um, they can spot your face from miles away, man. This devil has a lot of technology, and the scripture says um, he's going to be hunting. Uh, matter of fact, let me get it. Um, you know, he's going to be coming that mainly after the, uh, uh, the, the prophets. Alright. He's going to be coming mainly after the, uh, the prophets, man. Alright. Uh, uh, Right, this is uh, Isaiah 16 and 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And and right, and why is that burning wrath uh, kindled over us, right? Because these nations are angry. They're mad because we woke up, man. And we're exposing their ass, man. And we're telling them that, they're, that what their judgment is, man. And that we're about to rule, so they're they're very mad. They're pissed off. They wanna they wanna kill us. All right, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. All right. So some of us are gonna be put in prison. All right, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and tried under foot. So those that consent unto him, which is mainly taking that MOTB, that injectable implant that you can buy and sell with, that's like a grain of rice that they put in your hand, all right, okay, whether your right hand or your left, because the scripture says, uh, there's one revelation that says your right hand, but there's another revelation that just says your hand, all right, okay, you consent unto them then you're not going to have the protection of the Lord. You're going to um, you're gonna be pretty much left at the mercy of Esau Edom, which has no fucking mercy. <laughs> All right. For, for there shall be in every place and in the, the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh. So they're going to be mainly coming after the men that fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Okay. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear Yahweh. So they're going to be mainly looking for those that uh, that call themselves Israelites, man. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, right? All you preppers. You got a lot of Israelite preppers. You got Israelites that bought land. They thought that would save them. When the scriptures clearly tell you in those evils, be pilgrims, be as pilgrims on the earth, man. Be, be mahar. You got to be mahar on your feet, man, in those days. You know what I mean? You're gonna you have to be Mahar on your feet, which is swift on your feet in those days. You gotta be ready to move around. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So then it's gonna be known who the chosen of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is. Alright. Um Okay. Uh um, yeah, then it's going to be known who my chosen is, man. Um, all right. And in that dream, man, the Lord made, uh, 
Right. Let me read a little bit more. It says, Hear ye, O beloved, saith Yahweh, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So the days of trouble are at hand, man. They are Mahar. <laughs> they are Mahariam. <laughs> All right, they're speeding. The, 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 the days of trouble are right at the door. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith Yahweh power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up to yourself. Lift up themselves, all right? So, yeah. All right, just basically get yourself in order, man. Prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord, man. All right, um, but these things are speeding up, and uh, and uh, and in that vision, the Lord made me swift because the enemy was swiftly um, coming after me, man. You know, I remember being in the building. It kind of was like it reminded me of the Matrix a little bit, you know, with the agents, you know, and these motherfuckers was coming in the building looking for me, man. And I was, I was, uh, I was killing their ass, man. They ass was getting killed, man. And I was scared doing it, man. I was like, damn, I killed some damn government agents, man, with spiritual power. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. And then uh, I, now I'm flying away. I'm flying around. My, my my face is all over the fucking news, man. It's a terrifying situation, man. But it, it was like it, it, it's like a lot of mixed feelings when I think about it. You know, it's like, yeah, I was terrified. The enemy was after me, but the Lord was with me. You know, the Lord's with me, giving me spiritual powers, man. I could fly away, man. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was one of these scriptures, man. Uh, me and the brother, uh, Benji, uh, one of our favorite scriptures, man. Uh, let me see. Oh, man. <laughs> right um yeah because <laughs> as the lord gave me wings man not fucking red bull man <laughs> it was this is psalms 55 and 6 and i said oh that i had wings like a dove for then i would fly away and be at rest <laughs> All right. And the Lord gave me, you know, a little bit of rest, man. You know, in my distress, I was able to fly through the sky, you know, like, damn, these people can't get, get to me here, man. And when I finally rest on the ground, I was around brothers, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the brothers, they, you know, they knew that everybody was looking for me. They, they knew the whole breakdown. I didn't have to explain nothing to them. You know what I'm saying? When I when I landed on the ground and talked to the brothers, they knew what was going on exactly. They knew that I had killed a bunch of fucking agents and with spiritual power and that they was looking for me. That's why the brother Benji told me to put uh put some on my face because we about to go live. You know, we about to go live, just put some on your face. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I was looking kinda like a ninja and shit. You know? <laughs> But yeah, man, you know, the Lord's going to give his men spiritual powers in that day. Um, and uh, it would be nice to be one of those guys that get it. You know, really, in the end of the day, I just want to make it out of here. You know, it'd be nice to be able to fly and do all that, you know. But eventually that, that'll that come in the kingdom. So I'm not, so to say, in a rush for that. But then again, I am because I'm in a rush to get in the kingdom, <laughs> you know. Um, but you know, shit, another brother gets spiritual power that's around me, man. Shit, I'm finna stick to you like glue, you know what I'm saying? Shit, whoever the Lord give it to, man, in that day, man. You know, however the Lord grants deliverance, man, I'm all for it, man. You know, so that's pretty much it. Just a vision I want to share and uh just the breakdown of that name. Um Hope it was some edification with this. Uh, Shalom and the Bible Ball.